ask God for his help in turning away from it. Because remember that it says, should you not have had pity and mercy on your fellow attendant as I had pity and mercy on you. Remember his pity and mercy. Remember his pity and mercy. Hold on to that. Because right now, children of God, this this is the season. This is in a couple of weeks we're celebrating Thanksgiving. And I will say this. I've said it a few times over the past few years. This Thanksgiving was not. It was not the Indian, the settlers thanking the Indians. Okay. It was the settlers thanking God. Okay. That was what they did. They thanked God that they made it through that year. The Indians helped, that's true, but they were thanking God for what he had done, for his work in the lives of the settlers, okay? As we come to this time of thanksgiving, let's thank God. Let's thank God. It's not difficult to do but when we remember when we remember what God has done for us through this year through the past year through all the time that we have had remember what he has done for us and focus on that right now children of God some of us are in bad circumstances, bad situations, things are not working out as you would hope. Remember the times that God has come through. Remember the door that opened at the last minute. Remember the time that things turned around when you never expected them to. Remember all that God has done for you and remember what God has done through you and with you for others. And remember that wherever you've been, whatever you've done, God loves you and God wants you back.
Amen. Taking things to God in prayer. You know, in Philippians, it tells us, in nothing be anxious, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Sometimes, children of God, it is hard. And you know, right now can be a very sad time for a lot of people, okay? And if you are someone right now who is going through a very, very bad time, bitterness, disappointment, financial turmoil, relational turmoil, these can be very heavy, and these can't these are very heavy on the hearts of many people right now okay and I understand I know what it feels like I have been through a lot of these things and I just want you to know as bad as it can feel right now as much pain as there is, it will pass, okay, it will pass, things do get better, remember this, children of God, remember this, in the psalm, in Psalm 23, the most quoted psalm, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I walk through it, I can't get out of it. I can't go around it. But at the same time, there is an end to it. I walk through it. I get past it. I go beyond it. Thou art with me. No matter where you go, Jesus is right there with you. Okay? He is right there with you. Thy rod and thy staff. Correction, guidance, he is there, all right? He has not abandoned you. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Never, okay? He hasn't gone anywhere. Do you remember the disciples were all in the boat? The storm came up. Jesus was right there in the boat with them. That storm still hit the boat. That storm still shook the boat. The disciples in the boat were afraid they were going to sink and drown. Jesus was right there. None of the disciples knew what Jesus was going to do. And children of God, I'll tell you right now, we don't know what God is going to do. We don't know what Jesus is going to do. But we can know that when we call on him, he hears us. We can know that He loves and cares for us. And our destruction is not on His list. Our destruction is not what He has planned for us. Our success, our overcoming, our succeeding and excelling is what He has planned for us. For us to use the gifts that He has given us for the benefit of his house, for the benefit of all of his children. Whatever gifts you have, there is someone there who needs them. The same way, whatever needs you have, there is someone who has been given those gifts to help you. Okay? It is a matter of using those gifts. Now, can you coerce or force someone to use their gifts? No. No, you can't. And God does not coerce or force anyone to do anything. But the fact is, children of God, if you don't, if you don't, God will bring the help to someone through some other means. But then you miss out on the blessing on the 
the seeing God at work in your life on being able to know that God is using you and if God is using you isn't it obvious that God cares for you that he has something planned for you that he wants something good for you okay use what you have from God for God and for the rest of his children we plan to be back in these seats next week the week after being Thanksgiving week we probably will not be here but wherever we are children of God you remain in our prayers it is important to me it's really on my heart for me to let you know that at this time God really cares for you and it is important for you to remember what he has done and to give him thanks for it it may hurt right now children of God like I said it may hurt it may hurt badly right now but remember what he has done hold on to that have that hope in yourself of what God has done in the past and know that he is there in the present and he is already waiting in the future so children of God let's pray dear Heavenly Father tonight it is my prayer that you will touch each of your children each one listening to my voice right now and that you will cause them to remember those things that you have done for them cause them to remember the times that you were there for them things that they may have forgotten bring these to their remembrance Lord that they may thank you for them and have hope in the future that they may know that you are the one true God that they may know your love and care for them and that now at this time your glory will be lifted up your praise will be on their lips and thanksgiving will be given to you even in the midst of trials in the midst of tribulation in the midst of suffering that you can and will be praised by your children and they will know that it is only a temporary situation that you are with them and that the time of suffering of tribulation and turmoil and pain is reaching its end we give you the glory the honor and the praise we thank you Heavenly Father and I ask for myself as much as I ask for anyone who is listening that you will guide guard watch over and protect us help us to call to remembrance your works and to give you the glory the honor and the praise in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth Amen <laughs>